I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. Yeah, I got this video here dialed up. Um, it's from the People's Voice on Rumble, right? Uh, it goes into the World Economic Forum and just all types of things, you know, that we knew, that we know and we know would be coming as far as prophecy, as far as the RFID microchip spoke about in uh, Revelations chapter uh Chapter 13, right? Let's just go to that real quick. This is Revelation 13. And um, I'll start, I'll just go straight to the point, right? Talking about that Karagma. Right? This is, uh, <clears throat> this is Revelation 13 and 13. Uh, I'll start at 12. I'll start at 11. And it says the beast from the earth. And it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Okay. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. Now this is really talking about the first beast before him was the Roman Empire and they also had two, two horns like a lamb Democrat and Republic Republican Party but they're on the same beast you see what I'm saying like, um, I think back in Rome it was the patricians and the Pelagians or something like that okay so this is America is Rome 2.0 pretty much um, it does everything that Rome used to do pretty much, you know, as far as man with man, woman with woman, fast food restaurants, uh, you know, taking advantage of little kids, having sex with little children, you know, this is what America pushes, uh, pedophilia, um, everything you can think of that's, that's wicked. And against the Most High. It says, uh, Revelations 13 and 12, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Okay, through their philosophies, through their, you know, the, the things that they push, their holidays, you know, Christmas. You know, Halloween coming up. Um, worshiping all these things. Uh, it says, verse 13, And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth inside of men. Okay. America. Uh, I think America was, you know, everybody started getting scared whenever they let loose those bombs over in Hiroshima okay fire rain from heaven man. and uh that's when they you know uh, people started getting really afraid of America afraid of the white man in general because you know he, he had power to uh, rain fire from heaven okay it says verse 14 and deceiveth them that dwell therein, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Okay, that was a miracle to see uh, fire rain from heaven, and then, and then there's a huge bomb that destroyed countless lives. You know, people started thinking that the white man was God. You know, they already had a white image, so called Jesus Christ. You know, Serapis Christus goes back to pagan worship, you know, 
it says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, okay, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Some of those miracles, those things that are happening. Let me go to this inner liner. This is what Charles Schwab and Noah Harari are pushing. Miracles, right? That's what they're pushing. It says, uh, he had power to do inside of the beast. It's not going to give me miracles, is it? Oh, wow, that's weird. Um, Earth by means of uh, Simeon. Um, it says, uh, so that's the word for miracles here. Strong G, 4592, Simeon. Simeon. There's a sign, a mark, a token that by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others and is known. Okay. A sign, prodigy, important, example, and unusual occurrence. So when Americans came over here and stole this land from our Indian brothers with those damn musket guns, that was an unusual occurrence. They're like, damn, what's that? That's fire coming out of a gun? You know, whenever they dropped those bombs over there on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, those people was like, what the hell is that? We ain't never seen that before. You see what I'm saying? It says, transcend, it says, an unusual occurrence, transcending the common course of nature. Well, that's what they did, man. That's what they do. The Lord gave them the sword to rule. So they started developing nukes, all these German scientists. Uh, basically developing nukes, different bombs, different guns, different weapons. And all these things transcended, transcending the common course of nature. Okay? It says, of signs portending, okay, remarkable events soon to happen. Of miracles and wonders by which God authenticates the men sent by him. Okay? So, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is the sword of the Lord, according to the scripture. What, what, what did, uh, what did the scripture say? I think it was King David that prayed, let me see, from thy sword, I think it's in the book of Psalms. Let's look it up real quick. It says, uh, deliver me. Let me see. Yep. Psalm 17 and 13. That's what our king. Yep. It says, a prayer of David. Hear the right, O Lord, at attend unto my cry give ear unto my prayer that not that goeth not out of fame lips because this is what we're praying today man praying to the Lord that he will help us because Esau Edom the white man is the Lord's sword man he literally is he literally is let me highlight this real quick let's just get right to it it says arise O Lord Yahweh disappoint him cast him down now why would you know David be praying this back then and we're praying it right now because this guy is literally trying to kill us okay deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword okay which is thy sword because the scriptures tell us here in Deuteronomy Let's just go to Deuteronomy 28 and 39. Is it? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. It might be in two. I think I'm glitching it again. But bear with me. 
Look around me 32 so I can. I don't know why I keep wanting to go to the other. But yeah, Esau Edom is the sword of the Lord. And as we know, knowing these scriptures, that the Lord kills and makes alive, he puts the spirit in a person to do these things. It's like the counsel he had with Satan. Uh, about Job. He let he let the devil do those things to Job, man. Just like he let Esau Eda bring us here into slavery. Beat the shit out of us. Because we went off according to also Deuteronomy chapter 28. But it says Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. Now the Lord said he kills and makes alive. Now he doesn't come down here and set foot on earth. I mean you wouldn't even be able to survive his presence you know. But he uses men the Lord creates good and bad, man. That's one thing those Christians, they have failed to tell you. This is one thing that Noah Harari and Charles Schwab, okay, they're trying to get rid of the Most High. They're trying to put an RFID microchip inside of you, man. Make you into a damn computer like your phone is. Read your thoughts, all these things. But they are the sword of the Lord. The Lord wants them to do these things. He's building them up. Just so they can knock their butts right back down like he did Pharaoh in Egypt, man. It says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's what the Lord said. Let's read it in the NLT. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Now, it says, look now, I myself am he. There is no other God but me. Okay, so all you weak ass Allah and all this other stuff, this Buddha and... You know, these weak holidays that worship different gods, uh, Jesus Christ, yeah, all that shit, man. You know that his that's not his name. You know the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Shai is his name, okay, and he is the son of the heavenly Father, the Almighty Yahweh, okay. It says there is no other god but me. That's what the that's what the heavenly Father says, man. I am the one who kills and gives life. We can read that a hundred times. It says, I am the one who kills and gives life. I am the one who wounds and heals. Right. And how did, he's the one who does it through men. No one can be rescued from my powerful hand. Okay. Nobody, man. Nobody is getting rescued from the Lord's powerful hand. So the Lord made this devil cracker to be who he is. And this is what they do. This is what they push. Let's go back to the second Thessalonians 2. But before that, let's read a little bit of this video. I'll just let it play. It is spreading. Klaus Schwab. The tyranny is spreading. Klaus Schwab has admitted the global elite are planning to depopulate the world and replace ordinary human beings with AI and transhumanist hybrids. According to the WEF, humanity will be better equipped to deal with the challenges of the future if unborn children undergo gene editing to ensure they are free of diseases and disabilities, including psychological traits which the elites disapprove of. Speaking at the World Government Summit in Dubai, where he was lecturing 600 unelected bureaucrats about how to... You see, uh, that's what they want to do, make you into a computer. And I'm going to go back to that Revelations. We ain't done yet on that Revelations chapter 13, man. Okay. We're going to go back into it, man. To rule the world, the WF founders said that the WF have the technology to become gods and engage in intelligent design to, in his words, alter the human being. And if that See? Let's go ahead and get the Second Thessalonians real quick. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and 3 and it says let no man deceive you by any means for that day should not come except there come falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition the son of perdition that's Esau Edom that's Charles Spaw that's the Rothschilds the Rockefellers the, the Bilderbergs 
BlackRock, Vanguard, all these people who are making these moves, man. All these white people. The, the, the rich Europeans at the top that are making these moves. That want to put chips inside of you. That want to play God. Oh, I don't need God. We can, we can make it rain. Oh, we don't need God. We can make people who are blind see again. We don't need God to help us. We're going to be computers. Verse 4 says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. So he, Esau, Edom, this man, he opposeth the Most High and he exalteth himself above the Most High and everything. You know, if a baby's born, a, a, a little, little baby boy, he's born, by the time he's like five years old, they're like, yeah, we can we can change him into a girl. Let's just cut off his private. That's going against the most high, man. The Lord made him a boy for a fucking reason. Excuse my French. So this man thinks that he can do anything. You know, oh, he got a little baby boy there. Uh, I think kids can have sexual relations with adults. That's what these crackers think in their minds, man. Oh, you got a little baby girl. Well, well she could, we could change her into a boy. Ridiculous, right? You got a calculator in front of you. Somebody type in one plus one. And show me what the fuck that equals, man. Okay. So it says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he is God instead of in the temple of God showing himself that he is God and you're going to hear what this cracker says man let me read that in NLT verses 4 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4 he will exalt himself he will it says he will exalt himself and defy everything that people call God everything that people call God man and every object of worship he will even sit in the temple of God, claiming that he is himself is God. Okay. Let's get, yeah, see, that's what he's doing. Going back to down to number seven right here. Second Thessalonians 2 and 7. I'll start at 6. It says, And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And right now we're living in a time whenever this devil's being revealed for who he is. For the mystery of iniquity, the mystery of iniquity. What's iniquity? Sin stacked on top of sin. Let's just define it with the Google definition. It says iniquity, right? Iniquity. Immoral. What's, is not America immoral? Immoral or grossly unfair behavior. We go to some of the similar words. Wickedness. This is America, man. This is... And who's running this place? Is not it so-called white men? <laughs> is not it Charles Schwab's and Bill Gates? Who, who, nobody elected these dudes, man. The quality of being evil or morally wrong. Sinfulness. Immorality. Immorality. The state... Or quality of being immoral, wickedness, immoral, crime, criminality, behavior that is contrary to the or forbidding by criminal law. So these people are criminals, villainly, wicked or criminal behavior. Yeah, it's criminal behavior to, to uh, have all types of human trafficking going on in your fucking country and never find out who's doing the human trafficking. Because they're doing it. Let's define immoral. Immoral. Not conforming to accepted standards of morality. Unethical, bad, evil, wrongful, wicked. Yeah, it's wicked to have two men get married and adopt a little girl. Evil, profoundly immoral and wicked. It's, it's, it's wicked to have a little child, little five-year-old, and cutting off his rod and, and changing them into a girl over time. That's wicked, man. Vile. Extremely unpleasant. That's extremely unpleasant to put 
books in elementary school children's libraries that show how a dad is having sex with their little kid. Where the fuck did they do that at? So today, the mystery of iniquity is being revealed. Who's doing these things? Who, who, what country went over to Africa and tried to push LGBTQ on them? It's America, man. That's why they had that total solar eclipse not too long ago. I heard that it blocked out all America, man. You know, on, yeah, America was the only place on the whole earth that was just in total darkness. And, and, and hey, that's the Lord sending those signs. Signs in the moon and signs in the stars and the sun. The, the Lord is going to destroy this place from off of the earth, man. Okay, this is the most wickedest place ever. So it says 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7 for the mystery of iniquity. And we just went into that word which led us to all types of plethora of different horrible, horrible words. The mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Okay, so the Lord's letting them do this to, to build him up. So that he can knock his ass down. To show his power. This is the point right here. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Okay. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders man. Yeah. The WF has a bunch of power and signs and lying wonders. Bill Gates has a bunch of power and signs and lying wonders. All these people have, they working at, they're coming after the working of Satan. Yeah, Bill Gates releasing mosquitoes into a lab somewhere or into this place. And then I read this article the other day. They, they have drones that can, you know, release mosquitoes, man. You know, to destroy different armies or to administer vaccines or whatever, man. We're looking at the damn devil. And if that wasn't dystopian enough, wait until you hear how Schwab is planning to alter us. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the... This are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole... Listen to this themselves or random hackers. As noted by Schwab's right-hand man, Yuval Noah Harari, humans are now hackable animals. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. For those who still think that this is all a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theory, you should know that the US military has been talking about it for years. DARPA neurologist and chief of the Neuroethics Studies Program at Georgetown University, Dr. James Giordano, who is also a weapons expert, started his presentation at West Point New York Military Academy by saying, the brain is and will be the 21st century battlefield. End of story. So what we're here to talk about today is the fact that the brain is and will be the 21st century battlescape in many ways. End of story. We could stop it there and I could let you go back to your respective units and think about that for a while, but I'm here to tell you absolutely as much as there's a big old Tyrolean nose on this face, that you will encounter some form of neurocognitive science that has been weaponized not only in your military career, but in your personal and professional lives, irrespective of whether those two things coincide or not. So the idea of the brain as a battlescape is very important. And more importantly is this other acronym that's up there, which is WMD squared. Please get used to this because this is going to be part of the idea of a regular warfare and ongoing military innovation in your careers. Weapons of mass destruction and disruption. Disruption and influence will be the key to creating peer capabilities and asymmetrical engagements. Let me say it again. It will be the key to creating peer capability and asymmetrical relations and engagements. Dr. Giordano talks about how directed energy can be and is being weaponized. Individuals' brains can be targeted by microwaves. The type of 5G and soon to come 6G, of which you see antennas growing like mushrooms all over the world. 
they tell you, is to make your internet and ever more sophisticated computers and smartphones faster, with more outreach capacity and to help advance digitization. This may all be true to some extent, but the real reason behind these microwave towers is to target you, the individual. Why? Because as the Bible tells us, wicked doesn't sleep. Not how do we know that? He just brung out, he, he said wicked doesn't sleep. He, he trying to bring out, he says the Bible tells us wicked doesn't sleep. And that's that's for damn sure. And I'm going to get that scripture that he just said. You know, because the scriptures also say, yeah, hey, man, they can't even go to sleep unless they cause mischief, man. They can't even go to sleep unless they cause mischief or they cause some to fall. Let me see. Sleep. Mischief. Right? Proverbs 4 and 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. <laughs> Yeah, they can't even go to sleep unless they come up with these uh, plans to fuck you people up, man. You see? For they sleep not unless they cause mischief. Okay, in the KJV, Proverbs 4 and 16, For they sleep not except they have caused, have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fail. You see? They're literally trying to bring in their new world order. Their, their Georgia Guidestones, uh, the first commandment says, maintain humanity up under 500 million. So they don't get any sleep unless they're coming up with these different diseases and shit like that. And unless they know that they can kill a few thousand people every day. They need to get more people off of the earth. They need to burn Hawaii so they can come in there and build their 15-minute cities. Burn, burn, burn. They need Ukraine. They need that war so they can come in there and build their 15-minute cities and get rid of a bunch of people. Put that RFID microchips in them. They're all, they're all in cahoots, man. Okay, the Rothschilds are, 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 are funding these wars, man. It's all part of their plan. It says in Proverbs 4 and 16 in the NLT... For evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. And that's for damn sure. Even going back to some of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. <laughs> Our people is wicked, just like the white man's wicked. It says, for evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. And that's for damn sure, man. Can't even go to sleep unless you, like certain people can't even have a day without some coffee. Well, there's certain people that can't even go to sleep unless they... Especially the white man, especially Esau Edom, unless they've done some fucked up shit to somebody, man. It says they can't rest until they've caused someone to stumble. <laughs> That's what the white dude just said on here, man. Now, he might be a Jake, you never know. This, because the elite can't stop talking about their agenda. After this quick break, we will reveal the elite's depraved vision of the future and explain what we can do to stop their genocidal plans. But first, an important message from us All night through, we code TPV at the checkout. Purchasing these American-made... Like, yeah. That's 1-800-19 World Economic Forum. And a special chapter on altering the human being. In this chapter, Schwab addresses biotechnologies, neurotechnologies, and transhumanism, precisely the science that Dr. Giordano was talking about in 2018 at the West Point Military Academy, and which is in full implementation. If we connect the dots, we realize that the brain as the battlefield of the future is now, and that we were warned way in advance. According to Dr. Giordano, the science of neurotechnology started some 40 years ago, and he, Giordano, has been part of it for at least 35 years. The global elite death cult has again given people warnings, according to its rules, way ahead of time, as part of the revelation of the method philosophy. Why is it that we never take note of such warnings? Is it because normal people do not believe in so much built-in evil in humanity? Or because we don't want to leave our comfort zone, our dystopian view of a safe world? We th man, people don't want to leave their comfort zone, man. I'm trying to get to the point, man. He said something in here. That might be it right there. I'm going to go back to... Uh, let's speak about this MLTB, man. 
trying to find out what estimate the won't be homo sapiens on on planet earth 200 years 200 years and i think this is a conservative estimate wow uh, i maybe even 100 years it's not that we'll destroy ourselves in some calamity much more likely we will use advanced technology biotechnology, nanotechnology, direct brain computer interfaces to upgrade homo sapiens into different kinds of beings, beings which are different from us much more than we are different from Neanderthals, beings which will have different bodies, different minds, different brains. I mean, the big products of the coming century will not be shoes or... See? who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Okay? Now this they plans, man, to, 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 to replace the human body with robots. <laughs> replace with AI hybrids, man. Okay? They want to put that MOTB inside you, man. That's what that's 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 what's going on, man. Okay. Or clothes, or cars, or weapons. The big product of the 21st century are going to be bodies and minds. So I think we are heading to, towards the upgrading of Homo sapiens into gods. The people into who gods. believe in natural selection. You see that shit? And how are they going to do this, man? They're going to talk about it here in a minute. They're going to talk about that technology. Gates was at the forefront of the computer science revolution, according to Harari, and he is also at the forefront of the revolution in the biological sciences. And guess what? According to Harari, Bill Gates' two revolutions are about to merge in one big scientific experiment. Unfortunately, you and I are being lined up as the subjects of this experiment. Uh, hacking human beings, the ability to hack humans, to understand deeply what's happening within you, what, what makes you, what, what, what makes you go. And for that, the most important data is not what you read and who you meet and what you buy, it's what's happening inside your body. So we had these two big revolutions, the computer science revolution, or the, the infotech revolution, and the revolution in the biological sciences. And they are still separate, but they are about to merge. They are merging around, I would say, the biometric sensor. It's the thing, it's the gadget, it's the technology that converts biological data in... He's talking about the fucking chip. He said a gadget. Let's just read this, man. Let's read it. Let's get to it. I'm so excited. Hopefully you're still with me. If not, then hey, it is what it is. This is Revelation 13. And let's just get down to it. I knew I should have gotten to it. And I stopped at 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. See, this is a miracle that they're talking about. Bringing uh, biology and info technology and all these things into one uh, carbon footprinting and you know stuff like like everything just how many times do you breathe a day how many times do you go take a crap what are you thinking okay they're gonna put all this shit it's gonna be a miracle in the eyes of people but okay so they're going to get it. They're going to be like, oh, you can track my child. There ain't going to be no human trafficking no more. Ha, ha, ha. You see? They're going to play on their emotions to get this damn thing, man. It says, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live. Okay? Talking about the ancient Roman Empire. It's living right now through America. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, the new world order, okay? That the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many that would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, so if you don't worship their new world order, they're going to take you out. That's their plans. Here we go, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So the whole world, man. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, a karagma. A karagma. What did, what did Nora Harari just say? He just said it's a gadget. And watch what he say after that. Watch what he say after that. 
it says, and he calls of all, all, and he calls of all. Let's go into that word all real quick. It says pus. Strong's G 3956. Pus. 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 It says individually, it says each, every, any, all, the whole, everyone, all things, everything, man. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody, man, they already got it in the animals. They wanted to get you they because you're an animal to them. You know what those uh, Amalek call you people? They call us Goyim and their Talmuds and shit. It says a mark, G5480, man. Strong G5480, Haragba, Haragba. So this is, this is that gadget that he's talking about, merging these two different... Uh, these two different uh, forms of, uh, you know, technology and, you know, science together to, to, to implement this gadget to, you know, it says a stamp and printed mark of the mark stamped on the foreheads or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti hamashiach Okay, so it could be on your forehead, like that's what Elon Musk is working on, this brain chip interface. To make people walk again, to make people do that, to, you know, you've seen the experiments of him doing it with the monkeys and shit. These are all miracles that these crackers are doing in the sight of the beast, man. And people are going to be lining up to get these things, man. This is what we work. This is what we're waiting on right now. You know, we can talk as much as we wanted to about the war and all that shit, but this here it has to come first, man. It says the mark branded upon horses, thing carved, sculptured, graven, and adulterous images. So this has to be in, planted inside you. Let's go to the root word, which should be uh, Karox, right? Strong's G fifty four eighty two, Karox, Karox, Karox from Caruso to sharpen. To sharpen to a point. Okay? So they're going to be using uh, a palisade, right? A palisade, a pail, a stake. You ever seen a stake? That's the only way you can kill vampires, right? It has to be sharp. And what, what's sharp? Those N-E-E-D-L-E's, man, if you catch my drift. And they're going to poke it inside of you with that karagma in it. A, pal, a palisade. Pails between such and such. Okay, yep. Yeah. To sharpen to a point. That sounds like the N E E D L E to me. That sounds like a yeah. I can't say it, but let's go to the root word of this. And that's this what they're gonna do. They're gonna write on your ass. They gonna they gonna put they gonna hey they gonna say I own you now. Just like Bill Gates getting all types of patents. He can patent things now. He can patent you, man. Okay. Grapho. Strong's G, 1125. Grafo. Grafo. It says, Grafo. It says, to write. To write. To write, man. Okay? With reference to the form of the letters. To delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, or other material. So they're going to write their name on you. They're going to write their new world order inside of you on you pretty much with that chip okay to fill with writing fill with writing data to fill with writing to commit to writing things not to be forgotten write down record record man they want to know your every move, they, all your data, your, your dental records, all this shit. They going to write on you niggas, man. And we're trying to warn you. We're trying to warn you. Okay? And he calls of all. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive that writing, that mark. That karagma goes into karaks. Which is the N E E D L E. 
and they're going to write on your ass. It goes into, okay, writing your record so they can track you. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you got to get down and lay down with the new world order. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. So this same beast, this same serpent, is a man. There's no such thing as a devil at the bottom of the earth with a pitchfork. No, no. That motherfucker roaming the earth right now. The, the book of Genesis tell, tells us that he was more subtile than any beast of the field. Right? Don't let me get it, man. I'm, I'm about to be going off. <laughs> I don't want to go off yet. I don't want to go off, man. I don't want to go off. This is uh, the fall of man. It says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. It's not talking about a real damn serpent, you idiots. Which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, yea, have God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? See, <laughs> let's go into this word subtle right quick, man. This is these crackers. This is Esau, Norari, Bill Gates. Now the serpent was more subtle. Strong 6175, right? Strong's H, 6175. Arum. 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 It says subtle. Shrewd. Second crackers. entry. Arum. Slocky. I'm very Arum. sorry. Arum. Crafty. Sly. Sensible. Crafty. Shrewd. Prudent. Okay. A room, passive particle, cunning. Cunning, usually in a bad sense. Okay? Usually in a bad sense. Cunning. Cunning. What's cunning mean? Define the regular definition of cunning. 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 It says having or showing skill in achieving one's end. So Esau, Edom, so-called white man is always <laughs> killing and killing and killing and killing and killing and killing. He can't stop killing. He kill all the animals, all the people. He can't help it. He's the Lord's sword. The Lord made him to be a killer. But the Lord is going to kill him. It says, achieving one's end by deceit. Or evasion. <laughs> Let's read that again. Cunning. It says, having or showing skill in achieving one's end by deceit or evasion. <laughs> God dang it. Let me read up Georgia Godstone. Let me, let, let, just let me go to it. It says, look, 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 look it, look it, look it. Okay. So, <laughs> in order to achieve one's end, this is Georgia Godstones, right? The Georgia Godstone, I always bring this up. If you're still with me, the water. I'm, I'm, I'm a little everywhere. But the first commandment of the Georgia Godstone says what? To maintain humanity up under 500 million. Now, you know how many people are up on the earth right now, man? That's a lot of people that they want to kill. That's a lot of people that they want to kill, man. The second one says, guide reproduction wisely. What's reproduction? Having babies. That's why they're like, no, you don't have to be a girl. You can be a boy. No, you don't have to be a boy. You can be a girl. No, we can. you can have two, two men get married and two women get married. That's not going to create babies, man. Just like over in China right now, they they're having problems reproducing. They don't, you know, they're not they're not making babies anymore. That's what they want in the world, the whole world, man. Died reproduction wisely. That's why you got transgenders and shit. <laughs> man with man and woman with woman. That ain't gonna that don't produce life. That don't produce life at all. 
So he's very cunning. It says having cunning, having or showing skill in achieving one's ends by deceit or evasion by deceit. This damn devil is very cunning. Okay. Let's get that other word before I forget. Yep. Subtool. We already got that word, didn't we? Yep. So let's go back. Uh, let's just, hey, we, we, we pretty much got it. I was thinking about another scripture that was talking about how to, how this damn devil. What was that scripture? Never mind. I'm, I'm about to close out. It's 40. Oh my God. I've been going 40 something minutes. Into digital data that can be analyzed by computers. And having the ability to really monitor people under the skin, this is the, the, the biggest game changer of all. Under the skin. Uh, having the, you see? Having the ability is the, the biggest game changer of all. Under the skin, he said. Are being lined up as the subjects of this experiment. Uh, hacking human beings. The ability to hack humans. To understand deeply what's happening within you. What, what makes you, what, what, what makes you go. And for that, the most important data is not what you read and who you meet and what you buy. It's what's happening inside your body. So we had these two big revolutions, the computer science revolution, or the, the infotech revolution, and the revolution in the biological sciences. And they are still separate, but they are about to merge. They are merging around, I would say, the biometric sensor. It's the thing, it's the gadget, it's the technology that converts biological data into digital data that can be analyzed by computers. And having the ability to really monitor people under the skin, this is the, the, the biggest game changer of all. Uh, because this is the key for getting to know people better than they know themselves. I often give the example from my own personal life that I realized I was gay only when I was 21. And I keep thinking about the time when I was 15, 16. How could I have missed it? You know, some, something so important. Yeah, you fucking devil. Look at this motherfucker. I realized I was gay. Man, I can't wait, man. Lord, Lord willing, Lord willing, let me get that motherfucker. Man, I'm going to chop his head off every day for eternity until he got to go into that pit, man. You're going to be getting your ass fucked up. I ain't got yet. We're going to pass y'all slaves around, man. We're going to pass y'all motherfuckers around and beat the shit out of you pieces of shit. Okay? I'm going to cut your motherfucking head off, man. Okay? Every day you get in your head, I'm going to make it grow back just to cut the motherfucker off again, man. Lord willing, man. You guys are fucking through. This is the devil, man. This is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. So with that man, shallow one.